I have a picture frame. Do you like my picture? It's a picture of my bunny Trixie, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Um, and the Trixie is uh, on this puzzle piece, and I set this where people can see it. And then I go through, see, there's a corner, there's a picture of Trixie. See, there's Trixie. Here, let me put the puzzle together and I'll show you. So you do the whole thing. You put the puzzle together, you show Trixie. Then you use your magic wand to make it disappear. Now Trixie's gone. All right, and let me just set this here. So once I have Trixie gone, there is a hole in the puzzle. All right hole in the puzzle. And I say, oh no, what am I going to do? I need my Trixie back. I tell you what, would you guys help me? Remember the picture frame, right? Remember it? All right, what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring Trixie back. So you guys don't have magic wands. So I tell you what, I, I'm not going to use my magic wand because I need both my hands. Would you guys wave your fingers? All right, so here you go. Wave your fingers. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring Brixie back. Okay, you ready? One, two, let's all say, come back, Trixie. One, two, three, come back, Trixie. I'm not... Ah! Wait a minute. You guys did it. You brought, give yourself a big hand of applause. And not only that, but Trixie fits exactly into the puzzle just like that. Pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so how do we do that trick? Okay, so this trick needs a little preset. All right, and the preset is the bunny picture. So remember how I showed you um, how to do this with a coin. The difference is when you turn this over, watch what happens, it disappears. All right, and then when you turn it back over, it reappears. Okay, so there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. So when you make it disappear, you wanna turn it so that it's upside down if you were facing the audience. And the other thing you don't wanna do is tip it forward because Trixie will fall out. All right, you wanna keep it a little bit backwards towards you so that she doesn't fall out. So if she's upside down facing the audience, then when you do this, it'll disappear. Okay, so now it's gone. Now it's disappeared and it's ready for the show. You have Trixie hiding in here. So I show the audience, I pull it out, I talk about my picture frame, about how it's empty. Ah, I lost my Trixie. Where did Trixie go? And then I just set this aside, but it's all ready. I set it aside and I do the whole disappearing bunny trick. See, I have Trixie on these puzzle pieces. Magic wand puzzle pieces. Okay. I do the whole trick. I get the magic wand. I flip those over. Tap, tap, tap. Now I put them back together and there's a hole in the trick. Boom, boom. Okay, a hole in the trick. Now, when I pull this back out, it's still facing the same direction. I want to keep it facing the same direction. Okay. And so what I'll do is I talk about how I can't, when I use the magic wand, I can't use it because I need both of my hands. And what I do at that time is I spin this around. When I'm talking about the magic wand, I spin this around. And I can either, you know, I practiced it to do it with one hand, but you could use your body again. But if you, if you just kind of set it on your thumb and you practice spinning it around like this, you can do that, all right, while you're talking about how you can't use your magic wand, so you have them use their fingers. The other thing is, what I can do is I can just hand it to my right hand, talk to the kids, and grab it like this and do the spin around that way. There's a lot of ways to do it, but I spun it a bunch of times, right? I spun it a bunch of times. So I set this down, I talk about the magic wand, and I only spin it once. Now, make sure you don't tip it forward, tip it back a little bit, abracadabra, and bunny appears. Okay, 
So remember, it's the story. It's the story of the disappearing bunny that I can use my magic wand, but I can't, so you have to use your fingers. All those things cover up the secret moves that we do. And the preset on this, the preset on this is to have Trixie upside down facing your audience or right side up facing you. If Trixie's right side up facing me, when I do this and I make her disappear, whoops, now if she doesn't disappear, that's because I forgot to turn it the right way, right? So there we go, now she disappears. That's how you preset the trick. So you preset this one, and then you preset the, the um, puzzle pieces by having the Trixie picture showing first, okay? Preset your magic wand. So there we go. I don't like to have this facing the audience because they see the hole. I like to have it this way where they can't see the hole. Or you can have this out like this and setting like that. So when you pick it up, you're showing it, right? But again, it's the power of three. You want to do this at least once, at least twice, talking about different stuff so that when you do it the third time, it's magic. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the box and also another little trick that will help you with this trick. Okay. Another little thing that will help you with this trick. Okay. So that's ready. That's ready. Let's do the another thing. Don't forget at the bottom of the uh, link here is the link to go buy the magic set or the abracadabra books where you can read the stories of the magicians. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.